I'm recording. Um, this meeting of the Design Review Board, October 5, 2022, called to order at 5.30 p.m. Now you roll call, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to roll call our board members. Ed Briggs. Here. Peter Gaffer. Present. Stephen Green. Here. Lori Gannell. Here. Uh, ben Lepley is not here. Scott Perfect. Not here. Ted Schriever. Here. Frank Davis, Council Liaison. Here. Okay, and I guess that is it. And we'll see if, if uh, Mr. Perfect shows up, who will uh, just welcome him to his chair. Um, okay, now call to the public. Uh, residents of the city may speak uh, regarding design and board topics that are not on the agenda for tonight. Um, and you're, if anybody has anything, your speaking time is limited to, hello, Scott. Hello, everyone. To, Sorry I'm late. It's all right. And I'm happy. Uh, speaking time limited to three minutes. Does anybody have anything? No. Okay, great. Um, close that. And old business agenda item number one, application 2266. Um, this is Todd Conklin, property owner, 221B Youngblood Hill. Good evening, board. How are you guys? Great. How are you, Mr. Conklin? Good, good, good. Everybody get to the house and see it? I did. I did? I couldn't find it. You, were, you didn't make it up there? I couldn't find it. You did. Okay. Stefan, did you make it up there? No, but I've been watching the activity. But you never made it up to the house? No. Okay. So three board members made it up. It's, it's not uncommon that everyone okay. doesn't make it, but... You know, well, I just think it's important when we're voting on these you know, applications that there's actually eyes on the properties. Mm -hmm. um, okay, would you like me to speak or do you guys have any questions of me? Uh, you, you can go ahead and just, you know, present, you know, because we, we, last time we heard your case, but you actually presented us with some drawings this time mm -hmm. and plans. So if there's anything else you'd like to say. Could, could I ask, Tom, yeah. could you just, I, I've seen the property, I've looked at your presentation, uh, your materials. Yes, just sir. kind of walk us through the project. Okay. So that we'll just, I mean, I've taken some Well, so you know, I keep emphasizing the community and um, this was a, a dilapidated crack house uh, property taxes were not being paid, delinquent sewer and garbage, etc. We pulled out 20 tons of trash, uh, drug paraphernalia, you name it, was in there. Um, so we scraped it, and then the real big change um, I'm not good at north, south, east, or, or west, but on the end of the house, there was a, a flat roof that was there. Um, so that's the, that would be, excuse me, interrupting, but that's the, the end that's going up the hill towards towards the, the staircase towards the city staircase okay yes sir like so be the southeast way. there you go that's what he said yeah. <laughs> this is my neighbor he, he's here the southeast side i live right there southeast yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. he's going to speak uh on my behalf tonight also um so anyways uh i took it upon myself and this is kind of where uh you know the reason why i'm, I'm really here is uh i dropped that that roof, the actual roof, and we kept a portion of the walls and we created a gable roof there, um, which you guys, three of you guys have seen uh, physically. What do you guys think of, of the gable? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll have a discussion. When we have our discussion. Okay, okay, all right. So, um, uh, other than that, uh, I did match the siding that's existing there. There is T111. So I want to bring up um, an application from August 3rd, and the application is 2242. It was on Lachlan. Do you guys re remember this, the shed that was at the end of Lachlan? I can barely remember what I had. Well, it's important that you guys do. So do, do you guys remember that? It was, it was a shed that was up there as a non-contributing uh, structure. 
Um, it is the one that wanted a variance because the shed's in the front yard. Oh, Jerry? Oh, yes. Okay, yes, absolutely. So that application was approved by this board, and yes. that, that was T-111, and it's clearly stated, let me see here, on... Page 3. Page 3, yeah, page 3 is for the material list, and then there's pictures, obviously, you guys don't have this application here, but on page... Was it 21 to 22? There's a picture of T111 site that was approved by this board. Now this was approved right before my application was denied, and I understand why my application was denied. But what I'm pushing for here tonight is what I'm asking the board is to let me go like for like, and you guys have already approved this the previous month before. Okay. This house is wrapped in T111 siding. It is a non-contributing structure, and it has sliding glass windows in it. That's what is there. It is, Joe Ward can attest that it is night and day. Would you say, Joe, from what it was to what it is now? No, you have to like it. It's a lot better. Okay. Um, uh, I was issued a stop work permit. I stopped. Nothing else was done after the stop work was, uh, was put in, in place. Um, the only thing that I have done is I poured all concrete floors on the inside, which the board, I understand, does not. Um, vote on or, or anything like that. Um, I'm asking if you guys would let me keep that window that I put in. I put a, a, a grid style window and to let me keep my siding. Um, I'm asking for a couple extra things. Uh, I'd like to put some windows in the gables. Um, and I, I don't know. Uh, I think that's about it. I feel like I'm just talking to talk. So, oh, that's okay. Um, with, with, um as I say, if you can walk us through, I, I'm looking at your sketch here. Yeah, so, I'm sorry, I'm not an architect, brother. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> all, of, all of the windows here are more or less light for light replacement? Yes, sir. Okay. What's the variances? It's the variances that we worry about, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, they're on the, I mean, the, the, all of the windows are pretty much light for light. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. 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 yeah, these are all great. Except these that yeah, that because there was this was the flat roof. I did I did a vertical I did a vertical double hung in the uh, in the bathroom, um, uh, and the only other window, the other window that I, I don't think you guys are going would, would not usually agree with is the one that's closest to the staircase that is already installed, but. It, it is exactly the same style of windows that are on this house. Um, they are slider uh, grid style windows. And, and you're going with the, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going out of sequence. I'm listening to you, I'm listening. But, um, and you're going with the same type of trim. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Which is very common in this thing. Yes, sir. Tradition. Um, no, I, I think, anyway, uh, okay, we so have we'll, more questions. Yeah, we, we can open it, to the public. open it to the public to for any comments for or against the project. Yeah, gonna, you have yeah. to declare the public hearing open first. I'm declaring the public hearing open. Um, does, would anybody like to speak? Yes, Sean. Hi, my name is Sean Pierre Fox Wilson. I'm uh, Todd's direct neighbor. Um, I don't need this. I spent, <laughs> I spent 31 years in the military. Um, <laughs> I live at the uh, house that sits right behind the Mulheim house. I've been there close to three years now. I bought it in 2020, right when COVID started. Shortly after I moved in, in July of 2020, I'm sure you guys got my letter that I wrote. Mm -hmm. We did. So I'm not going to re reiterate that entire thing. I met Todd four or five years ago. On my way to Texas, I would stop and stay at his uh, Airbnb, and we got to know each other and stuff. Um, he knows I'm a straight shooter. I, I don't play around with anybody. Uh, so when he started working on the project at two, 23, 23 um, I was like a godsend. Because one, I look at this one. When you buy a piece of property, your property is either going to increase in value or decrease in value based on the surrounding comps. <clears throat> so when he started doing the work, and he asked me, he said, if it gets too noisy or anything like that, or it gets too loud, let me know. So I told him I would. Um, when he started working on 225, 221. 221 right now, recently, that was an eyesore. I mean, 
like he said, he took tons and tons of debris out of there. Um, the person that lived there on a regular basis, Friday night, Saturday night, I hear him cussing all night long. Um, there were people in and out of there. So for me, being an ex-cop, retired military, I also worked in risk management, it's it's a boon for the city. And also the fact that I lived in, live in a house that's on the heritage list, um, I know that I have to go through steps to make any change. When I first moved into my house, I had a $3,000 gas line repair that I had to get approved first before I could even touch it, before I could even let the plumbing company come in and do it. I'm all behind him doing that. Uh, mm -hmm. I deal with the noise because in the end, it's going to be better for the people and, and the neighbors to live in the Gulch area and on, on Young Blood to have the homes that are actually filled or livable instead of the junk and mess that's there all the time right now. So, and like I said, I'm not going to re reiterate the entire thunder I wrote. So that's where I'm at. He's got my support. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. <coughs> and anybody else oh. uh, for speaking for or against? I do have some that um, yes, for sure. the Would record. Yes, sure. Would like to read the letters? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do mostly the gist on the ones that are very long. Yes. Because I don't want to take up too much time. Uh -huh. um, today, Mr. Mason, who lives up on Youngblood Hill, called in his support for the application, and he was glad that someone was finally doing something with that home. Uh, Simpri, um, she also lives up uh, in the Brewery Gulch area. And um, she is also in support, and she is glad that um, she helps you. Uh, you're helping to clean up the neighborhood, and she supports this. Lisa Head also supports Mr. Conklin. Um, she understood that he did start work without permission, but he did he did do once he got the stop work order, he was good. Um, she likes his can-do attitude, and she this will be a quality of, for their community up there. John Arnold, his is the, uh, the very long one with that. Um, he also was in support, and he was glad he was um, the efforts for to restore the integrity of the housing up on that hill. Uh, Mr. Higgins said he was in favor. Um, let's see. He urges the, uh, the board to approve his application. And then you just heard from Mr. Pierre. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a long name. Okay. I, I think it's important to state that, that uh, these letters of recommendation are from neighbors that are directly around this house. Yes. These aren't just random people from this yes. And we, we do understand. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you, you can sit down. I'm going to call the public hearing. Thank you, um, yes, ma'am. No problem. I'm going to call the public hearing closed, mm -hmm. and oh, I'll, I'll get there next week. You're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, open up uh, to the board for comments. It's staff comments first. Oh, staff comments first. Thank Sorry. you, Mr. Ward. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, good. I'm not the only staff member. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I do like what that Todd has cleaned up this house, and the house was a filthy, stinking, rotten mess. To the nth degree, but the, the T111 siding, you know, they, whether the board has made mistakes on that in the past, you're not held to your past mistakes, and, and remember that. And um, with window doors or siding of any or any of the new installations, you're supposed to be the house, you're supposed to be bringing the house closer to compliance or conformance with the um, design standards, and like for like isn't mentioned there. Remember that too. Mr. Davis, do you have any? I have no comments. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, closing staff comments, moving on to board discussion. Anybody like to start off on the board? Yeah. I have a, I have a question, uh, Joe. You had mentioned that um, specifically uh, we can't be held accountable for past mistakes, and you pointed out the T111. Uh, your opinion on this is that we need to follow today's direct, uh, guidelines as to we don't allow T-111, is that correct? Well, but Todd had made the point that you made the mistake in the past of allowing that, and so, so that would be um, evidence that he, or whatever you want to say, that's, that the, the path would lead to him that he couldn't be, 
that you had to do the same there. And I'm saying that you don't have to do the same there. But that, okay, that's what I wanted to clarify is, is what you're saying is that um, just because we've done it in the past doesn't necessarily mean that we have to do it from this day forward right. because we're you did, you did it's, it's creating a slippery it slope is what it's doing. And um, okay, so I just wanted to clarify that's what you're saying. And there's no mention of like for like in the uh, DRV guidelines. I was saying in that words where it talks about and we brought my my zoning code that mentioned where it shows that the um, that, that, that any new installations have to bring the structure closer to conform to the design standards, not um, like for like. And that's in the zoning code. Okay. And that's and so like for like is not mentioned in there. And so what you're saying is we need to bring it forward. To our co or to our standards now. Closer to compliance. Okay. Recommending. Recommending is he correct? That we bring it forward, or we do need to bring it. Are forward. you telling them, Joe, or are you recommending? I'm making a recommendation. Yeah. This is a step recommendation. Okay. That these, that these are what the what the rules are. Okay. So this is your recommendation. This is not specifically what it says. No. Oh, I was talking about what's in the, what's in the code. Okay. All right. I think I, I think I follow your direction. I just wanted clarification for that. Okay, thank you. And the T111, that was on a shed, wasn't that correct? That's correct. Okay. Uh, um, so, will the whole house be T111? Is that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so, let me think. No, actually, it will not. Um, let me get that application. You guys. Yeah, there, there's a page that's on the front, yeah. front, the front of the house, and I was on this board forever, but I forget the name of it. I want to just say it's, was it like a, a T and G kind of, that horizontal side? Drop side. Drop side. So, let me see here. The one that's on the porch, that's going to stay existing. Um, I'm not going to change that. Sorry, I put so many pages on this application and I can't even find it. I just want to find the front of the house. Uh, and th here's the back of the house that was there. That's what was there. Is the, the, What I put back on is what was there okay. originally. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't have a really good picture of it because that's where I want to put the double doors. Um, you guys find them for me, let me know. Where the double doors are? Yeah, it, there's a picture of the front, and it shows that siding there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the front the front of the of the house, which is oh maybe 400 square foot of siding, roughly, or 300 square foot of siding, is the old. Uh, uh, teardrops. It's not teardrop. It's uh, like a T and G almost. Um, and I do plan on keeping that. Is this it this one, one Tom? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so it. So it's this this picture. Thank oh you. yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah, yeah that yeah. that is going to stay the same. Yeah, it looks very black. On yeah. Our sheet. Sorry. <laughs> the rest. Okay. The rest of the house. Um, with the board's permission, I'd like just to put. It, Back the way it was. Uh, it helps this is shiplap, right? Hmm. You know what? There you go. That's the correct. Thank you for that, Mr. Perfect. Correct? Yep. It's a great yeah, name. Probably Scott. Yes. <laughs> I'm tired of that one. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, that is that is going to actually stay the same. I don't know a whole lot about the history of the house. Um, I do know it's a non-contributing structure that has been butchered throughout the years we say it. if you look at the front of it there was some um, teardrop that was covered with t111 that is still there that I'm not going to take off uh, whenever the stuff that we took down it was just it was literally studs with with uh, t111 or as Joel Warner might say x90 <laughs> right you're always you're always correcting me about that <laughs> so <laughs> so um, uh, being a contractor, I get to get all the, the good stuff. So, um, but as far as I can see and being honest and as a former board member, the only part of 
the house is that front porch that looks original? No, not, not that one, the one that Nina showed you, showed you the, the ship yeah. left. Well, I thought you were showing me a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that one, one. <laughs> yes sir. And that I'm going, I'm planning on with your guys' permission, I'm gonna, I wanna cut some double doors in there, but what I cut out, I wanna move over to piece in, to piece that siding in so we have a, so it's all a hole for that part of it. That's the best I can do. And then finding the materials is also very difficult also. But I I feel confident that I can put that front part, I can Humpty Dumpty it, I think I can put it back together. And then, and then the, um, sorry, uh, the two by two, you're gonna do a wood railing, correct? Yeah, yeah, yes ma'am. Okay. Yes ma'am. I, I, I poured the, the porch for it already, but what I'd like to do is the same thing that I did on my house up on Pace Avenue, uh, uh, four inches apart. <laughs> this is a contractor soon. Yeah. Uh, uh, two by two, uh, uh, picket style, four inches apart, and then have a two by six banister on the top of it. That's what I'd like to do. And then this, and then what, what I plan on doing is, because you guys stopped me, so I, I wasn't able to continue building the roof, but the whole, the whole gable is going to go all the way through. So the gable uh, will go over the porch. So it's going to be a covered porch. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I'd like to do. You can extend it this way. Yes, sir. Yeah, it'll be the exact same um, uh, roof line. I personally, and then not being biased on my own project, I, I feel that it looks better. It looks more um, symmetrical than how it was with the flat roof. Obviously, it's done. I didn't get your guys' approval. I apologize. You know, I started the build without your guys' approval. Um, but I think in the end, I, I, I personally feel it'll be, it, it'll look better. You know? I really do. I do. And the, um, where I'm going to be uh, adding uh, the, uh, the gable, that is already an existing gable. That's an existing gable over the living room. That's there. Okay. That, that is not changed at all. That's an existing pitch. Okay. Any, any more comments or questions? From uh, Todd, um, you obviously got a lot of alterations that you've done, already done on the place. So, what would, you say, would you say you've done all the major alterations yes, sir. now? And this is kind of like a little back to front because you haven't got a building permit. Well, or have you? I, you did have a permit for the um, interior work. Okay, but not but for the exterior work. He went outside of the permit, yeah. Right. Um, so we're operating rather back to front. We normally um, get a scheme from you as to what you were going to do, approve that, and then you get your building permit, and then you do the work. Now we're doing it the other way around here, aren't we? Well, I'm not um, saying, I'm not. So you, you, if I can hear me out, I think you're working without drawings. You're just kind of making it up as you go along. Oh no, there's a drawing in front of me now. What, this one here. What seems to be the, the issue so far? Uh, just that what we're going to approve today has to be in front of us. Well, or disapprove it. You don't have to prove it. Well, I, I understand. That. Okay. But what I'm saying is there are no elevation drawings. There's no floor plan. Well, you don't need a floor plan. No. Well, you don't, what, 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 what I do no, on the no, inside no, of the home is up to me. If you have a plan of a house, it normally has the floor plan and the elevations. And, <clears> and you've drawn some elevations here. Stefan, not being rude when I say this, you never even went up to the house. You said that you, you've been watching from your house in the gulch, and that's good enough for you to make a decision on. Me, as an applicant, I don't feel good about your decision because you never actually physically walked up to the house. Look, even I'm though, even, you, no, no, but all what I'm saying is that we're neighbors. You live three houses away from me, and you couldn't come up to my house? Todd, so that's not the issue here. The board is gonna either approve or disapprove of what you And I'm good with that, that's the reason why I'm here. And I just want you to be clear that what you've presented me here, I can't make a decision on it. Then don't. So I shall abstain. That's fine. I will say no more. That's fine. And I respect your decision, sir. Okay. I'm going to piggyback on what Stefan has been saying is that 
your the, the project that you're doing is amazing. Okay, it's absolutely wonderful that you're taking this piece of garbage and you're turning it into a livable area. Okay, I wouldn't call it garbage, Mr. Perfect. Well, what was it that you were pulling out of the area? Out of, out of the I'd area. say it's a structure that needs to get rehabilitated, I'm and it's helping. I'm it's helping about everything community. else that was in the yard. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll get into semantics here. Um, we have a process that we have to go through. I, I was on this board. I understand the process. Okay. We have a new process. Okay, and it's in place now. And we have to have A, B, C, D right in front of us so we can decide what's going to. Out of my application, what, what what is missing? <laughs> what's going to be good and what's not going to be good, okay? Um, Stefan has already brought up to the fact that, and, and you didn't have any drawings last week, we asked you definitely, we asked you last to month. more. Last month, I'm sorry. And so you have brought us drawings, but Stefan is saying that they're not conclusive enough for him to look at and decide that, that it's okay for us to give you the go-ahead. Are you making a decision based on step on? Are you making I'm not making decision? any decision now. I am just simply stating facts. Okay. We are stating an opinion. I've got no. I have got. We have got a format that you need to bring before us, and you have not completed that by bringing. What back. is it? What page is it that your, ele your elevations that you drew? You draw. But Mr. Perfect, you didn't go up to the house either. I told you I couldn't find it. Okay, I was I was out of town up until the last meeting. You don't have phone numbers to the other board members to ask them where it was at? I'm sorry, I work for a living. I didn't have enough we time. We all did. Yes, yes sir. You're taking me out a notch a little bit. Yeah, you're being you know, combative, and that's not going to be I'm answering not, questions. Not going to be conducive. You know, just take it down a notch, and it's going to the house. Does it, you know, what, the, what are you saying? Isn't this a big effect? Frank, what, what, let me finish. What matters is what you present here tonight, not going to the house so much. I mean, that's that's fine, but that's not crucial. Frank, are you sure about that? I'm sure. You're, you're, basing, you're basing votes on never going... On what you present here tonight is what they're basing votes on. I understand it's your okay. job as a... To to you know oversee the board and stuff like that, but you're saying that that what I'm that, saying, no, you're saying is that what, Todd, mm -hmm. what I'm saying I'm is listening. what they what you present here tonight is what they got to vote on. It's not that they didn't go to the house or not. So they're voting on pictures. And you're saying what you're presenting the drawings, mm -hmm. the drawings to the application. Yeah, and materials. Well, I'm I'm good with your guys' decision, but I'm just saying. <laughs> As a board, because whenever I was Going on the board, the house doesn't affect it's a new okay. board. Wait, Frank, can I can I speak? Are you okay with that? Mm. Whenever I was on the board, it was very important that every single board member went to these houses and they looked over meticulously what was going on with the job with, with these these applications. You guys have you know thirty days, thirty calendar days to go to these to these. Well, we Not get really. We, we get, get design packets. Few days we get advance. design packets four days before yeah. the meeting. Okay. Yeah, not. not I work. I advance. work during most of those days. It's very difficult for me. All right. And you shouldn't be on the board. And, and you're stating an opinion now. Okay. We don't have. That's not part of this stipulation that we've got in front of us. I mean, you you guys are making votes on on, on what not just, you just, not have just given you. us. Not just my application, but other people's applications. We are deciding your application on your application. So rewind. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan is us. out um, because he doesn't feel that there's enough drawings. Um, you haven't. This, you, this has got nothing yeah. to do with yeah, what's in front of us. Uh, let's so go you're, back you're, with you're the taking, board to discuss. Yeah, this is a, so it's a board it. discussion. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's bring it back. Yeah. Uh, I will state my opinion about this i mean i agree with everybody however this this is a structure that you couldn't find it's very hard to see it's it was you know falling apart and and covered in garbage and i think you're doing a good thing thank you i, I do i think you're doing a good thing and i would be inclined to pass it now you didn't provide us with the kind of drawings that we usually need and then, you know, materials, if this house was full of metal sliders and T11 or whatever, you know, like, uh, uh, I, I could wiggle a bit on the materials, but I do feel like it's important to have a, a decent drawing so that 
we can go back to it later and say, okay, he did what he said he was going to do, right? Um, but it's it's a little hard with you know with the this guy. Yes. Because all it has is one one. It says 16 feet on one side, but that's you know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. Well, we can't require him though to get professional drawings. No, I understand that. So it's whatever he, he did on uh, according to our checklist. He did give me a drawing. A drawing with the elevations. Yes. I know it's different than like what you see when Mr. Hope presents it because it, it's it's right. it's a little different, but we can't require him to do that. So okay. he he did what is required is a drawing with these elevations, but we cannot make an applicant do professional drawings. Yeah, it is, I, I understand the expense. So you know, I mean, all of that said, I, I mean, I'm personally I'm inclined to approve it. Um, because it was probably very close to being a teardown. And at least you are saving it. And I saw your other work. It looks it looks nice. Uh, 223 is at the other house? Yes. Yeah, so um, I realize that I'm taking up time from the other uh, applicants here, but it's this, it's, it's the block. My, <laughs> I, I told my wife, I said, the, the day that I don't have to go up there and work anymore will be a good day and just they, they keep hitting me so if you ever thought that this one was an eyesore or bad the one before it was a monstrosity and so um, I I just bought the one to the left of it too and I'll be coming in front of you guys for that one uh, Stefan I'll make sure that I go through the process completely before we start that one um, but um, it's that sector of Bisbee, and Joel, you can attest to it, how bad it, it was up there. One of the worst areas in, Bis in old Bisbee, for sure. And so, yeah. I'm not <clears throat> saying I'm a saint or a golden god, but nobody wanted to deal with it, and so I'm taking them on, and I'm sorry if I, um, uh, if I'm a little outspoken tonight, um, I'm just... I really want to continue building on this house. I, I need to. Uh, I, I don't have a roof on. I've been having storms coming in. It's in the walls already because I had to stop the build. Um, uh, it's getting cold. I need to get my framers in there so I can at least get the, the roof on this thing. And you do understand that all of those things are outside of our consideration, right? I mean, I, I, I totally feel for you. I have empathy. I didn't ask you to do it. No, no, but I'm just saying that they are outside of, and I'm not saying that, you know, one way or another about it, but, you know, what your intentions and it, it is what it is, your passion for the neighborhood are important, but it is kind of it's outside of your passion. It's just I got an open house that I need to put yeah. back together. Can we get back to board discussion? Yes, board discussion. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, I just have questions about the T111. Yes. I mean, you're going to keep the existing T111 that's on the house, is yes, that sir. correct? Yes, but sir. are you planning on adding additional T111 around the house? What's done, done is done, Mr. Perfect. Um, Please there tell is, me, Scott. Uh, okay, uh, Scott. Um, yeah, the footprint is laid out for what I'm intending to do. Um, there's okay, there's the footprint, no other changes. Now, are, you, are you planning on adding additional T111 to the house? No, sir. Okay, all right. Um, let's get back to the window issue. Like for like, um, I mean, it's, there's existing sliders in there now. You're going to keep those? Is that correct? Yeah, I, 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 I have no intentions of um, changing anything on the exterior of that home that's already there. Okay, I but, but you're adding trim to the to the sliders that are there. Um, I I can if you guys would like. There is trim. I'm just trying to. Remember things that were said. Throughout. I don't think I mentioned trim in the application. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought some, did, did we not talk about trim on the windows? And that's typical in busy. The trim, Scott. If you look at uh, one of the pictures, I might have misunderstood. I'm sorry. Ted. No, you're fine. See, this is what's there. They have like that angle. Yeah. Um, they have that angle trim. Yeah. I could, I could put that around the window. Okay. That's there. I mean, that's what was existing. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm just concerned that are we do are the windows uh, acceptable according to DRV guidelines? I think if it was a contributing structure with historic value, 
that we would say that yes, that the windows are important and that we, we should probably and hold it to a different standard, but considering that this house was already like this, but he's just trying to rehab it. Right. Um, and you can't, I mean, you really can't see it unless you go up that hill and go around that corner and then climb down and, you know what I mean? So, I, I'm, I'm inclined to, to and well, I, I, you know, if there was a contributing structure and it was visible from the street, I would have a different attitude about it, but it, it's not, it's not visible from the street. Okay, well, I think we should keep our votes to ourselves until we are ready to vote on it. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. I'm saying my inclination. Okay, yeah. uh, and I'm asking the rest of the board members mm -hmm. how we feel about the windows on it and so forth. Said? I think a lot of it's done. Okay. And I think a lot of it was like that, and I think it puts us in an odd position, but a lot of it's done. It's going to be a house that I'll, someone will be able to live in, and again, it puts us in a strange position, but a lot of this work is already done, so I'm not sure what our role really is here. Okay, thank you. Uh, and I saw it. It looks much better than you could tell what it was before. Okay. Thank you. I right. appreciate that. Peter? My, my concern, Todd, is obviously we're in favor of the project. You've been your neighbors in favor of the project. On the DRB, we have to have a record of what we agree. We don't know what we're agreeing to. That's the problem. It's not that we don't want your project. We support your project. We congratulate you. We appreciate what you're doing. And it's hard work, but there's no firm record of what you're doing. And that, I don't know how uh, the building inspector can say, yeah, you did this, you did this, you did that. I have no idea. I mean, we got bits and pieces. This? There's nothing. Yeah, I mean, I went up. I can see where the new building, the, the new windows are. Um, you answered my question about the trim, but it would have been nice if you'd have put it on your sketch. But there's no record of it. Mm. So how do we approve something? We don't, I mean, if we... We, we would love you to continue with this project. Yeah. I mean, there's no one here on this board who doesn't want you to do it. I don't know it. where you're getting we don't at. Have a, we don't have a, where, where, a solid record. Where are you record. going with this now? We don't have a solid record, which is why it's difficult to approve it. A record of what? Of what you plan to do, and therefore we can tick off and say, or Mr. Ward can come in and say, yep, yeah, you did what you said you'd do. We're Mr. Good. Mr. Gafford. Yeah. Nina has already told you that the drawing that I gave you was sufficient. I understand. I don't agree with you. You're an architect. I right? don't. I'm not an architect. I'm not. Engineer. I, I'm you're, not. You're used, no. to, you're used to professional drawings. No, I, we, we get all sorts of drawings. Yeah, we get some beautiful drawings. This is not clear. There's no mention of trim. There's, I mean, it's just a a back of an envelope. I'm well, not trying to criticize well, 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 you your just did, and, and you just said that the whole application is garbage, is what you're trying to tell me. No, no I'm not saying it's, it's garbage at all. Then, then, what part of the, then what part of the application would, would you like nice to talk about? if there was a rigid plan that said, here's, here's this elevation, I'm changing this window. You keep bringing up the drawings. Room. Yeah, but they're not bad. I mean, where, where on this drawing does it say you're putting new trim on? Would you like to make an amendment to my application, I, Peter? I would say, okay. I'd say I'm that. Uh, um, thank you. I'm done. You're very welcome. When you do make a motion, uh, you can put that in right. to stimulate yeah. there'll be trim. A contingency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if there's things you want to add to the application contingent that he has to do, you can do that. I don't want you to be angry about my application either, Peter. It seems like you're flustered about it. Todd, just let's let the board well, yeah, do let us their just, thing. You're really not if we don't, right we're in board discussion right now. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Frank. We're no, in board that's, discussion. That's right. So I, I'd say you got some drawings there. Uh, they're not what you'd like to have exactly, but and a lot of this has already been done. So I, I think you can make a decision on it. Anybody else on the board have? Uh, comments about this application? No, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to just say that we've had people start to build garden sheds and they've been given a stop order. Mm -hmm. Right Now I know this is a different situation, a very different situation, mm -hmm. and what Todd's doing is a credit to him, what he's doing for the community. 
that is just not giving us enough information to make a decision. And that's all I'm saying. I can't say, yes, I'll approve this. I haven't got enough information. To... I mean, he can basically go away and do what he wants because this is, there's so much um, flexibility in the drawings presented that he can just do what he wants. And I don't think that's what we should be doing. I think we should actually at least make people say what they're going to do and give us an image of some kind. At least take these drawings and write call-outs on what, what these are going to be. Are you going to put trim around this and so forth? And Such I think I guess, I information for us to make a decision. I mean, and we've got on one page, we've got the end where he's, there's actually been a call-out. Well, in fact, it says T111 right here. We're not getting call-outs for anything else. And I think that's what we're looking for. That's what we need to decide on. Uh, otherwise, like Peter said, it's 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 drawing that gives us a gist of what's going to happen, and we have no uh, we have no ability for accountability to have have it have it built the way we anticipate it's going to be built. Might not be what he's going to build. So, and that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm not sure that. This, this package is a lot better than the last package, but I just don't think that there's enough information for us to allow it to go forward. And uh, we, I, would, we, I would suggest that if you have, you can write in there the trim, you can put the call outs that you and, want. And no more T. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever you want. And, and, and present it and then say if that's acceptable to Todd, then go forward. If my application was denied so, so today, I, so Todd, 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 you're not, you're not part of this right now. Todd, Todd, you're, you're Todd, our board. Todd. Todd. So I, th I think again that it would be good to resolve this, and it's, it's probably not going to get any better. So uh, you know, put the, ask, put the call outs in there. If you got, you want trim written on there, Scott? I would, Right into the, yeah, I would like. I would uh, like to see that it. on there. I would like to discuss with Stefan if I could. Thank you, Frank. I do appreciate your input, um, Stefan. I would like to throw some ideas back and forth here. What we want to see added to these drawings, as we have them right now, something that's going to make you comfortable. Uh, yeah. Well, I've said I won't say any more on this, but. Uh, no, I would like you to. I would yeah. like you I mean, all I'm saying is the information that I've got in front of me doesn't reflect what is going to happen. It doesn't show me what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but we've got a situation where the um, homeowner contractor is actually doing work, mm -hmm. and most of it's done, and retrospectively we're expected to approve that, but there's still no drawings for us to put in the file to say this is what's happened. It would be easy to draw a scale elevation at the front of the house, the two ends and the back, because it's there. You could almost do it from a photograph. Right. And, and then that would go in the file, yes, this is what they're going to do. These are the size of the windows, the types of windows, whatever else. Mm -hmm. And then it can go forward to the building, to the building permit, where all the code issues can be addressed, which we don't look at. So it's a very, we're at the very preliminary stage, normally, and here we are when a project is way underway and expected to make a decision. And I don't think I can make a decision one way or the other, so I'm going to abstain. I do, well, and that's where I'm trying to get you back off of that abstaining, is asking you to spitball right here with me. What can we get out of these drawings and put them in stipulation that uh, that'll get this get this voted on? You don't have to vote yes or no. Um, you can vote either way. I mean, even if we spitball and ask for these stipulations to be put in these drawings, and he, and if Mr. Con the contractor decides to, that he's okay with that, um, it still doesn't have to pass if we vote it down. I'm just saying, what can we? put in stipulation so we can get this to move forward. For, for example, if you said you would like would trim around these slider windows to replicate the look of the authentic kind of this new cool house. And no more T111 than is already there. So perhaps shiplap uh, on the rest of the house that is not finished. 
Um, beyond that, the roof is already on. Um, we know what he's going to do for the porch rail, which is two by two wood railing, which, which should actually be fine. Um, so maybe if we say um, approved, well, like a motion could be approved with the contingency that Mr. Conklin, you know, do this, this. Or instead this. of saying condition, I mean contingency, why don't you put with the condition, condition. that th these things are met. That these things are met. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. he Something will do those things. Dieter, are you comfortable with that? I want to hear the motion. Well, you're, I, I'm anticipating that you're going to make the motion. This so the have you been... Have no, you, I'm not going to make a motion. You're not going to make a no. motion on this. No. Okay. I'm Scott Perfect, but we haven't met. I am Ted. I'm sorry. Ted Schriever. Ted Schriever? Yeah, I'm the new member. Yes. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I can say call for a motion. Thank okay. you. Well, Mr. Davis, could they vote on... Could they do individual votes for just the porch, the railing, and then make the whole thing for the siding, the trim, and the windows? So those things have conditions, but the... Oh, yeah, we could do that like one. I mean, either way, I was just saying, if it makes it more comfortable for you, we could just do the ones that you know what it is. He's given you the example. Those can be approved, and then with the other ones, with the certain uh, condition that you're putting on that. Well, and that, uh, that's exactly what we were discussing, is we're bullet pointing the things that we would like to see. Right. No, I'm saying go ahead and approve the items that you can approve. The railing, because that's going to be wood, mm -hmm. it's going to be two by twos, I, and I, I, because there will be no condition put on that, right. is what I'm saying. I'd like to throw, let's throw the conditions in and let's vote. Yeah, okay. I think you could do the whole thing yeah. okay. without yes. breaking it out like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think we need to break it right. out. Like I think just, just make okay. a motion with the conditions. I, I would like to make a motion to approve the application with the condition that uh, no more T-111 be used as siding, that instead uh, Mr. Conklin use shiplap or something look like that, and wood trim around the sliders. Well, all the windows. All, the windows um, to, match, to, to match the existing. To match the existing. Were there any other bullet points besides those? No, I think the T111 and the windows are the biggest, biggest questions that I have. Okay. Yes. You need a second. I need a second. I'll second that. Okay. I will do roll call. We want you to move forward with this. Okay. Uh, roll call Ed Briggs. Aye. Peter Gaffer. Aye. Stephen Green. Aye. Lori Gannell. Aye. Scott Perfect. Aye. Ted Schriever. Aye. Okay. Uh, the application passes unanimously with the conditions previously stated. Uh, can I comment? Am I able to comment at this point? We, if you, would you prefer that I don't comment? I just have one question. So, are we saying that what's what has been put on needs to come off? No. 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 We're saying no, no. more. No, no more. more. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Awesome. Peter. So, I know Peter. Peter, I'm going to bring you some drawings. Never again. Yes. Never again. I love you, Peter. <laughs> okay. Where are we? All right. <laughs> What's the next slide? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I already stated that it passed unanimously, right? Yes, okay, so agenda item number one, application 22-66, 221B Youngblood O, has been passed unanimously with conditions. All right. Moving mm -hmm. on to agenda item number two, application 21-71. 802C Tombstone Canyon. Property owner or representative. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm amending my original application uh, asking for uh, that the building be uh, wrapped in smooth uh, stucco exterior as opposed to shiplap. Uh, the first picture I believe you have is. Uh, my house, which is, this is just an accessory dwelling that we're talking about on the application. 
my house directly below it has stucco. Uh, does anyone have a color photo? I think I have a color photo. Mm -hmm. You want mine? Yeah. This, this is just a little bit better rendering of the, uh, of the stucco that I'm trying to uh, apply for. Thanks. And this is what you aspire to do? Is yeah, that's on my oh, on the house, house below. And this right. is the... Uh, this is your house, right? Yeah, and I'd like to match that on the accessory dwelling. Understood, thank you. Also, I, I'd like to be fireproof. <laughs> Is that, is that the uh, extent of your presentation? Yes. Okay. And then the, uh, the contractor that did the original stucco would be the one who would be doing the stucco on the building. The one who did the stucco on your house? Yes. Okay. And we use the bullnose corner so that uh, attempt to make it look like a dobe. It says on your uh, uh, skirting coordinated. Oh, yeah, the skirting. You can see the uh, elevator, the picture where the... Uh, there's about six feet of, of skirting in the front and, and the lot slopes up from there to zero. And then I would like to use uh, a galvanized metal siding on the skirting, but I don't like the bright, shiny look. So what I do is I acid wash it to uh, build it out. And then that would actually, you can't see the car park, you just barely see the car park below. And that's what I did on the car park that's directly below it. So it would match that on the skirting. I don't see any surgery in any of the photographs. Are you talking about this one, Mr. Boniker? Yeah. There's another, does it show better on the color? Yeah. Here's the color one. And the skirting on this structure here? Yeah. But this is a, this is a dark part. Yeah. Uh, low. And the skirting, that would be the skirting would, to match that. And the skirting is going to be above the deck? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's going to be just below. All the way below the deck. In, but, oh, yeah. Okay. I get it. So you're covering your your yes your structure well, here required would be with covered. this right yeah. okay I understand that okay thank you did anyone else want to see this <coughs> thank you you're welcome yes is this, is this a structure that already came before the board it came yes. before the board in 2021 prior to I did bring. Um, the other application, and I was gonna, and it was approved as presented. So it was there. Okay. What was there at the beginning? The thirty by seventeen wood framed accessory structure. That's what was approved with the, um, with, the wood siding. with the wood siding. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're changing the siding. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, Okay, I'll open it up to public comment. Uh, anybody have comments for or against this project? No, ma'am. Okay, close the uh, public hearing and open it up to board staff, oh, no, staff comments. <laughs> Joe, do you have any comments? Anything, Joe? I don't think putting stuff on the, the new structure would be inappropriate. Would be inappropriate? I, don't, I do not believe it would be inappropriate. Okay, okay, thank you. I would say the same. If you were covering old wood siding with stucco, that's a big no. Right. But uh, he's got sense. stucco on the existing house, and so it, it would match. Okay, great. I will open it up for board discussion. I don't have anything to say. No, I love it. I'd like to live yeah. there. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> Okay. I, I will make a motion then to approve application 21-71 uh, as is. I'm sorry, who seconded it? Stephen okay. Green seconds. Thank you. Sorry about that. I'll do roll call. Okay. Uh, Ed Briggs. Aye. Peter Gaffer. Aye. Stephen Green. Aye. Lori Gannell. Aye. Scott Perfect. Aye. Ted Schrieber. Aye. And Ben Lefley is absent. Um, application dash two two, sorry two 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 one. Application two one dash seven one is unanimously approved by the board. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, going on.
on to agenda item number three, application 22-67, 12A Maxfield Avenue. Hi. Okay, so hi, my name's Jen. Hi, Jen. And this is a property that unfortunately the previous owner passed away in the middle of working on a project. Um, adding porches to the outside, and the board had approved that project um, prior to him starting work on it. Um, I purchased, the property was kind of in a legal limbo for a number of years um, as he passed away without a will, and I purchased the property years after he died and have saved up the money to go ahead and finish um, what he had been working on. And so that's what my application is, just to go ahead and finish putting the rest of the, the porch metal and all that on there. It okay. went before the board in 2008 when the original, oh. well, but the previous owner yeah. had it. Okay. So, and he passed away um, in 2014. Okay. Which is before my time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yes. Um, it looks, looking through the documentation, mm -hmm. um, it's all the original design information in there. Yes. For the finite detail, which is great. Yeah. Um, but it looks like the only thing you're really changing is you're omitting. The yeah. Passive solar. Right. So there were, um, he also had planned, and I brought some examples of what we're going to do for the railing, for the safety railing. Um, he had planned to have, like, I think from, this is all just word of mouth too, because unfortunately he passed away and I didn't have a chance to talk to him about any of this. Um, but his widow had passed along all of the documents that you have to me, and that's how I kind of know what most of his vision was for the property. Um, and I have a lot of respect for him, and I really want to see this all come to fruition in the way that he imagined. Um, unfortunately, I, the part about the passive solar, I have no idea who he was planning on doing that with. Um, May even and, have been self-designed. Right, and yeah. and it, you know, the looking at all the drawings, it looks really, it looks really impressive. I don't feel like I have the capability to follow through on that part of it. Um, or that I have the knowledge to know how to maybe like maintain or keep something like that going. So my plan is just to simply finish, right now it's a bunch of porches that go off into like three, you know, three stories of, of a fall. So I just want to make it safe. Um, he had purchased the metal before he passed away and so that is going to be put on and and just make it safe. So I'm not going to do the passive solar with okay. all the glass panels and everything. I just feel like that's beyond my ability to do. And you're going to do all this without disturbing the koi too much? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have only lost two of these koi fish in the whole time we've been there. So I'm really proud of that. I went there and they were all sticking their heads out the water. Oh. They all, they are uh, very food motivated. Yeah, they were, <laughs> so I wanted you to feed them. Very hungry. Uh, yeah, his, his vision for the place is just beautiful and I, I really have a lot of respect for him. Okay, um, and that, is that extended for presentation today? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to open this up to, uh, for public comment for or against the application. Anyone? Do you have any letters? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will uh, close the public hearing and open it up for board discussion. I, a couple of quick questions. Um, I, I, I think I understood. I took a look at it. Um, there are there are anchor bolts sticking out on mm -hmm. the upper level. Uh, were they? Was there a, um, a deck there before? And it, so, from my understanding, and from looking through all of these documents. Historically, there were walkways all uh, the way around the building, right on all sides, because yeah. there are doors, there are exterior doors that uh, go out on the opposite side of the building that are original. Doors. So it must have had, you know, it must have had at one point. I don't have any pictures of the uh, property from back then, um, but yeah, I can't imagine that they had doors just going no. off into. And so, and so the balcony is continuous at each level. Right, and right. it goes all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, it's. Uh, I mean, it will go all the way around. Right now, it stops where, unfortunately, when he passed away, they were halfway through. Right. Them on, right. So. No, that's. Um, I have no comment. 
And you're you're going to use double hung wood windows. Insulated oh, pop. Is that is he that? Had already. I'm not going to do anything okay. with the windows. That was something that he. That had. was old. Okay. Yeah, that yes, was that old. Was the old in his part. original application, he had already replaced All right, windows. Cool. Anybody have more questions? No, we no. to see it done. Yeah, yeah. anybody have a motion? Oh, great. I'll move to um, ex um, approve application 22 67 as submitted. I'll second. Awesome. Okay. Um, we will vote. Move to roll call. Ed Briggs? Aye. Peter Gaffer? Aye. Stephen Green? Aye. Lori Gannell? Aye. Ben Lepley absent. Scott Perfect. Aye. Ted Schriever. Aye. Okay. Application 22 67 12 A Maxwell Avenue passes unanimously. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Right. Moving along to our last group waiting at the back. Hello, everybody. Um, agenda item 4, application 22 69. 67A Brewery Avenue. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Sarah. Thanks for letting me present today. Um, first thing is we actually had an address change. I don't know if it's important for you guys, but this is now 67 Brewery, the Adobe. That we had it, the city just approved an address change. So um, what I'm asking is we purchased this Adobe. It's an 1880 building from what we've been told. And um, at some point, probably 20 years ago, they took the extended roof off, and it kind of took down some, some rooms that were behind the adobe. Um, we just want to extend the roof back out to the original footprint of the building because the adobe is suffering huge damage. And basically, we feel like the best way to save it, the only way to save it really, is to get that roof on so that the water is shed away from the adobe as opposed to just falling down next to it and getting wicked up in the building. So what we're looking to do is continue the aesthetic of the existing roof, which is corrugated metal, and just extend it across the back, um, where you can still see the footprint of the original building. So, does anyone have any questions? Uh, I would say so. Yeah, yes, oh. here. Oh, <laughs> right. No, I was just curious about the, the pitch of the existing roof. How far exactly, or do you want to come all the way out to, to the, the footprint? Ten, to the 10 foot, yeah. And is it just going to be like a porch, or? Yeah, yes. It's just going to cover that footprint. We're not going to change the building. Although it did at one time have rooms back there. And this is, this is simply to protect the structure as it is from the elements, correct? Yeah, it's, do you, yeah. It's, do you have any kind of indication um, for us, to, uh, at what's going to be supporting this roof at the end? Um, uh, wood beams. Beams, wood, wood beams. Mm -hmm. Four by sixes and four by six beams, and then two by eight rafters. So it's going to be it's going to be um, wood frame construction. Yes, all mm -hmm. the way around. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to get this one discuss. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any more questions at this point? Um, I'd like to open it up for public comment. Anybody have comments for or against? Yes, uh, Tomas. I, I think it's totally necessary because this building is being eroded as we speak. You know, every rain that comes, it's just wicking up right up the adobe walls. And yeah. it'd be a shame to lose the walls because they'll be gone forever. Yeah, I, I went out there today and I did see mm -hmm. the water creeping up the building. So it is, yeah, that's legitimate. And it's an original, I mean, it's the, one of the oldest, yeah. you know, it's a historic building, which is why we want to save it. So. Okay. I'm going to open this up uh, for board discussion. Oh, sorry, staff comments? I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to forget you on this. <laughs> so many steps. I think it's great. I think it's necessary. And it's not it's it's appropriate. Thank you. I would say the same. Thank you. Okay. Open it up to for uh, board discussion. Do we find no more public comment, right? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, closing the uh, public I, I think it's a clarification. I mean, I'm so, as someone who lives in an Adobe house, you have my 100% sympathy. Yeah. Um, they're, they're great until they get wet and then they fall apart and you have a pile of money. Um, are you going to put gutters on and take the water around? I mean, are you going to put gonna, a French gonna drain sweat. in the bottom? Ooh. To be. Yeah, that um, bike likes to jump yeah, off that thing. Yeah, we're going to put a swale in behind to kind of help direct the water. Okay. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, that's really not in our belly where we don't care what you do, but I just, uh, uh, I would also put a gutter on, but, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> we discussed that, and also the, the, more, the more important thing is getting the water away from the yeah, building. Absolutely. Everything slopes right to it right now. Yeah, so, absolutely. And so we're, what we want to do is cut a swale in there. we got to dig trenches anyways right. to run a water line and electric line. And so what we have that excavation open, uh -huh. when we backfill it, we'll backfill it like a V-shape and then get it going south around the building. The other question I had when I, when I when I went out with the whatever the high end of the building, there's there's a shed that doesn't have a roof. Oh, that's. Are you going to re-roof that? Uh, if we just replace it was what was that material? It was Lexan uh, roof. Yes. And we just put some on there just be, to save the building because right. that, it was there was nothing on there really. Right. Seventy five percent of it was gone. But, but that would protect the, the adobe as well. Yeah, we, we fixed that already. We had to. But there wasn't a roof on this morning when I looked. Was there? No. No. But we took it off because we wanted to replace the broken pieces of fiberglass. That but you are going to replace that yeah. pretty down soon. Yeah. Because otherwise that's going to be detrimental. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think it's a great project. Do I understand that the pitch on the extension is slightly shallower than the main house? Yes, because of the head. Yeah, you would know. Otherwise. We can only go so far with it. Right. And that'll be determined once I cut the tin open. Uh -huh. And we'll be able to attach to the existing rafters on the house, which is right. about a maybe 512 pitch. Yeah. But we're not going to carry that 512. No, I realize. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're just going to kick it a little bit, probably a 312 get, try to get that, yeah. or two and a half to one. Okay. No, I, I really, they're not, they were just suggestions for mm -hmm. preserve this building. Yeah, exactly. Anybody else have comments? Is this board discussion? This is board discussion. Okay. Yes. I, I would like to see, I, I don't have a problem with this, and I think it's, I think, uh, absolutely essential to protect their home. Mm -hmm. um, I would just like to see the condition put in there that um, the uh, post system is going to be lumber, uh, rough cut lumber, lumber of, of, you know, and not see some steel poles go in there or some concrete. Yeah, they're going to be lumber. Yeah. lumber. You want to speculate on what kind of posts? Four by six posts. I think it Just says in the description. I thought I wrote in there that yeah. it would be yeah. four by six. It is written on Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Did I miss that? No, I think you um, gave that to me, and I thought I put it in there. Yeah. I know we did with at yeah, the end. Well, if we could just, if we could just uh, put that condition in there, then it's, then it's going to be mumble. Um, and I know, I'm not, so sorry. Not, That's okay. That's that right. was my fault. We did she did get, I, I, I guess it. it did not come across when it scanned, but the post will be there. Oh, there. Okay. So, so I guess it. when I scanned yeah. it, I did not, it did not show oh, up. Oh, here it is. I yeah. see it. I see oh, okay. Post, four by yeah. six. Mine says street four by six. I'm sorry. Because of the staple. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. No. So it was yeah, on there. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I apologize. I think, I think it should be as it is. Okay. Okay. Anybody like to make a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. Oh, no, I, I'll make a motion to approve application number 22-69 as submitted, including parts behind the staple. <laughs> <laughs> It says T-111. <laughs> 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 Who was it? I second. Okay. Seconded by Ted Schriever. I'll uh, do a roll call vote on the application. Ed Briggs? Aye. 
Peter Gaffer. Aye. Stephen Green. Aye. Morgan L. I. Ben Lepley absent. Scott Perfect. Aye. Ted Schreiber. Aye. Okay, application 22-69 passes unanimously. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And again, I do apologize. I guess I should have made sure that you could see it. <laughs> Tom, Tom, I'm sorry, but you uh, wish you would, would have done first. Yeah. That's all right. We're going to go eat dinner now. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. It's your last chance. <laughs> He's not an artist. Okay, agenda item five, approval of the September 7, 2022 Design Review Board meeting minutes. Um, someone has to make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. I will second. Uh, Ed Briggs? Aye. Peter Gaffer? Aye. Stephen Green? Aye. Lori Gannell? Aye. Ben Repley? Absent. Scott Perfect? Aye. Ted Schriever? Aye. Okay. Uh, yes, the meeting minutes for September 7 are approved. Agenda item number six, discussion and possible approval of the updated design review board guidelines. I hope you liked, uh, we have a new administrative assistant who helped me with all the formatting and all the, what wasn't in line and what was in line. <laughs> Um, and I found a new picture for the satellite that's in there. So if that's not okay, let me know and I, I can find another maybe example on the internet. Um, but I did understand everybody's comments. Thank you, Mr. Gaffer. That's great. And Mr. Green. I even brought them just in case. <laughs> no, no, let's do it. Let's do it. I think it looks great. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. All right. Please. Okay. Um, I make a motion to approve the updated design review board guidelines. Is that second. Actually, can we change that to developmental standards? I realized oh. after I sent that that we had changed the name to it. Okay. So let's use the, the actual name of the document. I make a motion to approve the updated development standards for Bisbee Historic District. I will second that. Okay, we'll put it to a vote. Mm -hmm. Ed Briggs. Aye. Peter Gaffer. Aye. Stephen Green. Green. Lori Gannell. <laughs> Aye. Ben Lefley. Not here. Scott Perfect. Aye. Ted Schriever. Aye. Okay, uh, the developmental standards for Bisbee, Arizona Historic District are approved. Now, will this go to the Yay! No, it has to go to the planning and zoning first because we are changing some of the zoning codes. Unfortunately, it doesn't meet the time frame for the notice that needs to go out for the public hearing for them to have to discuss the zoning changes with the guidelines. So it won't actually go to them until the November meeting. Okay. And then once that goes, then it'll go to the mayor and council. So that'll be January before they're ready to go. Right. Right. It'll be, they'll have to do an ordinance also for the changes that are going to be made in the code. So we're going to do it at the same time. So it'll take 30 days from that time that it's fully adopted for those to become in effect. Very good. Great. Yeah, any future agenda item suggestions by the board? Would it be too late to make a small note to you? Oh, no. Go ahead. Because I started an email and I realized I didn't send it. Oh, okay. <laughs> And it was really just, I, I didn't have the right way to word it, but on fences, it seems appropriate that the structural part of the fence has to face the owner's property. As opposed to the decorative side? Yeah, the decorative, yeah. well, the finished side has to be to the outside. I bring this up because that's the way it is everywhere else, and we have a weird old neighbor that's not here anymore that did just the opposite right. and put all the structural part oh, facing outside. our property. Okay. And it, I just think that's right. It's ridiculous. So, uh, do we need another motion? I'm sorry. For that? About that. Oh, that's I just okay. Realize that I I think it's kind of important. Is all I have is a rule. Right. Yes. I agree. I agree. 
group. Yeah. Now we have to start the whole meeting over. Yeah, no. damn. Well, okay. do we need to have another motion? Number one. Uh, can we get Mr. Conklin no. back? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just kidding. No. Yeah, just kidding. Okay. 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 okay, so if you can do uh, another motion with that amendment. Well, okay. to it. Sorry, okay. so, can, can you make the motion? Because it's your, I don't uh, I'm just trying to think of what the right way. I I forget how I put it that the uh, that, that a property's structural side has to face yeah. the mm -hmm. resident, yeah. and the finished Decker side again. has to be yeah. facing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I second. Uh, Ed Briggs. Aye. Peter Gaffer. Aye. aye. Stephen Green. Aye. Lori Ganell. Aye. Scott Perfect. Aye. Ted Schriever? Aye. Okay. Uh, the development standards for Bisbee Arizona Historic District are approved unanimously with the condition that we add the stipulation about fencing, structural side facing residents, decorative side facing street or out outside. All right. All right. No topics for discussion. Um, no, work here is done. Yeah, so I just, do I make a motion to adjourn? Yes, somebody, somebody can, yeah. Somebody yeah. I would like to make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>